Now, I'm very pleased that uh, Coral is sponsoring our coverage this week. That means I can talk to David Stevens. Hello, Dave, are you all right? Good afternoon, Angus. Yeah, good form, thank good you. Good man. You, you managing to stay dry? I'm actually inside, which is good, looking at the, the pictures coming in from around the, uh, around the race courses. Ponty, not looking very summery, but we do need this ground, so we, uh, we do need this rain, so we can't complain too much. No, indeed, we, we, we shouldn't complain at all. And we should crack on, Dave, because we're not far away from our first at Pontefract uh, this afternoon. Let's talk about the classics. I think um, we ought to start with the 2,000 guineas and, and how you bet and how you regard Camelot. You're 11 to 8. One high-profile firm today uh, went even money, but you're standing firm at 11 to 8. Well, no, we, I mean, Labrooks there, you mentioned they have gone even money. They're very much in the Camelot camp, clearly. Uh, we were 7-4 to four this morning, but when punters see one firm go even money mm. and 7-4 to four is available, they do tend to hoover up the bigger prices, and that forced us into 11-8. to eight. Aidan O'Brien quoted as saying he's working towards the guineas. Um, I, people take mixed views on the trials last week. I mean, we as a firm were, were most impressed with Trumpet Major. We weren't very short. He's in there now 7-1. to one. You know, he's won the Craven by five lengths. Mm. Um, you, I can even question what he's beat, but you know, most, most improves clearly had a setback. Top off hasn't had a run into him. So I think, I think Trumpet Major, the winner of the Craven, I think he deserves his prominent position. Of, of the other O'Brien one that looks to be on target is Power. Uh, he's a 10 to 1 shot. Nephrite, who got beaten yesterday, I think, sprinting perhaps maybe where his future lies. So Camelot, if he turns up, he's going to be a, a warm favourite. But. For me, I like the fact that Trumpet Major's gone out there, won his trial, and I think Hannon's got a good one there. Yeah, I thought I thought he was all right in the, when he won his trial, when he won the Craven, and also you know he's, he's got that good run in the Dewhurst to his name as well. We must crack on, Dave. The thousand guineas betting uh, we've got as well. Uh, you're seven to four, maybe. Yeah, again, you know, obviously representing Aidan O'Brien, um, no question marks over her from me. Five from five as a two-year-old. Um, if she's trained through the winter OK, and, and the suggestions are, well, certainly the money suggests that she has done, I think she's going to take a lot of beating. A couple of Godolphin fillies next in there, Discourse and Lyric of Light. Nothing out of either of the trials, uh, the Now Gwyn or the, or the the Dubai Duty Free Race down at Newbury. I don't think either winner was entered for the guinea, so nothing there. And this one really is all about maybe, can she make it six from six? Yeah, any money for Lyric of Light quickly after that gallop at Newmarket? Time. Not, no, I mean, a bit low. Discourse worked last week as well, and Lyric of Light had hers. And I don't think we, we, you know, we can't really read too much into these, these race course gallops, apart from to say that the horses seem to be fitting well. Let's have a look at the market movers, Dave, if we could. To